So, I'm gonna go over the new survivor because she is so cool. I don't know why the background looks so ugly, but look at this survivor. She's so cool. Anyway, here are her perks, which I have actually not read yet. So, this is gonna be a live reaction to the perks. Clairvoyance. It activates whenever you cleanse a totem. When empty handed, hold the ability button to unlock your full reading aura potential. For up to eight seconds, you see the auras of the exigate switches, generators, hooks, and chests within a 64 meter range. So, that's just detective's hunch but worse i don't understand that you have to go out of your way to cleanse a totem so you're doing a secondary objective to get the same effect as detective's hunch i'm not really sure i understand that she's cute yeah she's so cool she's awesome and she's like supposed to be a witch hopefully she's not loud because if she's loud there's no way i'm going to uh be playing her unfortunately <laughs> Her whole vibe is really cool. Boon, circle of healing. Press and hold the ability button near a dull or hex totem to bless it and create a boon totem. Okay, so boon totems can go on hex totems. Interesting. Any survivors within the boon totems range gain a 90% healing speed bonus and can heal themselves without needing a med kit. What? This is just OP self-care. That's so good. Okay, okay, okay. So if you find a totem, you can basically... Why would you use inner strength if you can use this? I'll have to see what the balance is like in-game. I don't know. I can't. I like. I, it's not even processing in my mind how this is balanced, but we'll see. I think if you change a hex to boon totem, then you destroy the hex. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Okay, boon shadow step. Press and hold the ability button, blah, blah, blah. Any survivors within the boon totem's range will have their scratch marks and auras hidden from the killer. This effect lingers for two seconds after leaving what you're lying so the boon totems have a 28 meter range right that's like how far you can see nurses calling i think so you can have no scratch marks while you're in that range that's insane i i i need to try this out please look at feng and david's pictures in the survivor movies I unfortunately cannot do that. But this is what she looks like. She looks cool, doesn't she? So I did try to level her up a little bit to get some solid stuff. If you run both at the same time, a single boon totem has two effects. You're lying. That's insane. That's actually insane. This perk sounds so good. Oh, wait, is that only tier one? Okay, so it probably goes up to 100% speed. So if you're if you're in the boon totem range, you literally have will make it, but on yourself and other people, this is going to be actually kind of correct. My other perks are kind of trash. Let's just try both boons. Oh, Oh my god, David, what is going on with your face? He's fine. What? Ace? Hello? What's going on? What's going on here, Ace? Are you okay? I'm having trouble understanding why they're adding more objectives for killer, especially with skill-based matchmaking. If you're good at killer and you play killer a lot with skill-based matchmaking, if you have a chase that's like longer than 30 seconds, you're going to lose. So if you have another totem that you have to look for, I don't know. It's just adding extra, extra steps for killer when they already have so much to deal with. Looking like a marshmallow. Honestly, dude, like what is, <laughs> what is going on here? The new hatch is kind Kind of it's hard because you know i've grown up grown up back in my day the hatch has always spawned when one gen more than the number of survivors left has been completed so if you have three survivors left you need to complete four gens and then it'll spawn right and now it's not spawning unless you're the last person alive so that's kind of a scary thing you good kaido i am good i think <laughs> I'm never good. These boot totems are going to change this game completely. Oh, also one of the coolest changes for all of the add-ons and offerings that say like considerably increases or whatever, they change those to be actual values, which is so nice. Can I just say that this character is so cool? Like she's actually so cool. Why is the game freezing? Oh my God. It's stuttering so much. Okay. It's a nurse. So that's, that's fun. Oh my, why is it stuttering so much? Mindbreaker. Oh yeah. That makes you blind now. <gasps> let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay, so she just gets down and prays. Don't stomp it. That is so rude. Oh, so it has it has the little hex symbol on the right. Whoa. Okay, so it has... <gasps> That's honestly really cool. Her moonwalk is really, really cool. Did you see Pig's new add-on? Yeah, so the new Pig add-on is kind of scary, but also, like, kind of not. I don't know. I'd have to see it in-game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, every survivor starts with a head trap on their head. They're not active, but they start with them on. Honestly, the updates have been really awesome. This character is, like, it's such a cool design. Like, it's simple, but it also has a lot of, like, actual character, you know? Wait, I can heal myself. Wait. That's 
freaking awesome, bro. This is gonna be insane. Do you see how big this radius is? I'm on the edge and the totem's all the way over there. What? Okay. Yeah, let me just, let me just, let me just. <laughs> what is this? It's just self care wherever you are. That's so sick. Ow. Oh, you got that? Nice. Let's go. What did you mean with the new mechanic in the title? The boon totems. It's a it's a completely new mechanic that's going to totally change the, the game, which is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. I swear, killer's going to be so hard now. Oh, they have the healing speed. Look how fast that is. Are you kidding me? Okay, so imagine if I got will make it on top of this boon totem. This is going to be actually insane. Crapper got buffed. Pig got buffed. A bunch of add-ons got buffed. Nurse has three blinks now for one of the <laughs> one of the add-ons. Spirit has new chase music. No way. That's sick. That is so cool. This might be one of the best chase musics. Musics? Oh, everyone's dead? When did that happen? I'll go get the save. Oh, she has three blinks. She was supposed to hit me because she was far away, but she has three. That's so embarrassing. Okay, yeah, no, the changes are all really, really cool. But at the same time, it's kind of scary, like what they're going to do, right? Okay, these changes, they were massive changes, first of all. And second of all, they literally were good changes. Like what's going on? They added counterplay to Spirit and Death Slinger. Spirit got nerfed, explain. Okay, so Spirit got two nerfs. She now has directional audio when she's phasing. And then the second change that they're doing, which is actually not in this PTB yet, but it's going to come with her in the live update hopefully while she's phasing she picks up dust off of the ground every time she takes a step while she's phasing you can basically kind of see it i don't know how obvious it is i don't think it's that obvious but i think if you're really perceptive then you'll probably be able to see it she's definitely not going to be s tier anymore i think but she definitely won't be bad they nerfed scalped top knot for oni which kind of sucks because that was a, so that was such a fun add-on she's my new favorite survivor in terms of design yeah honestly she's one of my favorites too it's a trapper so trapper got buffed with this change um now he starts with two traps and there's also always six traps on the map by default i'm gonna go try to help this guy out really quick never mind wait why didn't he get s wait i didn't get it wait how did i not get it hopefully i can like okay okay go 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 don't step on that trap okay perfect I got you. I got you. I got you. Be free. Be free. Oh my god. Okay, so watch how fast we heal. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Plague got buffed. Plague did get buffed. Yes. She also got quality of life changes, which is great. Because you know how sometimes if you don't charge your plague meter all the way, it slows you down, but then it doesn't do anything? Now that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, so they just stomp it. Okay, that doesn't take long at all. Burger King Myers literally doesn't exist anymore. They buffed his add-ons. So Burger King Myers does not exist anymore. So now Trapper starts with two traps automatically. This is new. A bear trap resets two seconds after a survivor escapes from it. That's really good. All bear traps are carried at the beginning of the trial, but they cannot be picked up. That's gonna be really interesting because you can't pick them up, so you have to put them in really, really good places. However, you don't have to go and find all of them, right? Gain a 5% haste after setting a bear trap. That's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Wraith was nerfed a little bit, so his lunge used to be like 1.5 seconds, and now it's one second, I believe, which is the only nerf that they needed to do. Billy was buffed. They changed some of his add-ons a little bit to make them a little better. Nurse had the one change for this. Now she has an extra blink, except she has uh, recharge time is reduced by 50%. Myers was not changed. Actually, he might have had an add-on pass. No, he did have an add-on pass. Pig had an add-on pass. Spirit was changed. She did have another add-on pass. This is a lot of new stuff. Instantly recharges haunting after breaking wall. She had a whole add-on pass. Like, they completely changed her. Plague had an add-on pass. She was also buffed a little bit, which is awesome. Ghostface, they buffed his base kit. They made his recovery six seconds left. What? Left? less, but then they also nerfed the recovery add-ons. Death Slinger was nerfed. I'm so happy with the nerf. I wish they buffed him in a different way because Death Slinger wasn't even like an amazing killer. His design was just really boring, you know? They did buff a couple of his add-ons, like the one that is an insta-kill. It's now 12 meters instead of 15 meters, which is great. Blight had a couple of changes to like two add-ons. So overall, really good updates. Did they change the names of the icons? Yeah. Inner Healing, so inner strength is now inner healing. Babysitter is now guardian. It's literally going to take two seconds. Pfft. 
Why did I just fall from that? What are you doing? Sir. I'm actually going to go back here. I don't want to waste that pallet just yet. There we go. Got the stun in. Okay. You can't. You can't. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way you're going to be able to do that, bro. Like, there's no way. Med kits are going to be OP, bro. Like, they're actually going to be OP. Like, are you kidding me with this? I cannot believe this. Forgot about the steam. Ugh. I know his next survivor, probably. I, I'm definitely going to be the next survivor. I just peck at people with my, my goose teeth. Beak. My goose beak. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, where's a gen? Here's a gen. What the? What? I thought, were you not, were you not the survivor just now? Tell me you weren't literally just the survivor. Okay, let's see how fast this is. <laughs> what is that? That's insane. Did you see how fast that freaking was? Oh my God. You're lying. Like you're actually lying. <laughs>